What is deconstruction? Many Christians want you to believe that deconstruction is a synonym for deconversion. But in reality, it is no more or less than a deep dive into your beliefs in search of truth, like 1 Thessalonians 5.21 tells us we should, when it says, Examine all things, hold fast to what is good. My own journey began years before I ever heard the term deconstruction. After North Carolina Amendment 1 back in 2012, I started looking to the science of homosexuality. By the time of the 2016 bathroom bill, one of our friends had come out as a trans woman, cementing our belief that being gay or trans is completely natural. That was the first Jenga block of my faith that I examined. It proved untrue, so I discarded it. After that, my deconstruction journey plateaued until 2022 when I got curious about the payoff of Judaism. I discovered the Jews don't believe in hell, which means Jesus probably didn't either. The kingdom Jesus preached about was when God would turn earth into heaven. So, there's no heaven, yet, and there's no hell. So that's two more false jingle blocks gone. The other part of Jesus' message is that we should love each other. That jingle block I kept, which is why I still call myself a Jesus freak. So that is deconstruction. It's not the wholesale discarding of your faith, but merely the close examination of it to find out which parts are true and which are false. As Philippians 4.8 says, Whatever is true, whatever is worthy of respect, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if something is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. But don't just deconstruct your faith. Deconstruct everything you believe. I have said for decades that you can't truly understand your beliefs until you understand the arguments against them. So let me leave you with one last piece of biblical wisdom from John 8:32. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free.